How is alcohol dependence diagnosed? The uh, older method of doing this is called the CAGE questionnaire and each letter in the word CAGE stands for a question. So C is have you tried to cut down in the past? If a person says yes, then they score one. A is for has anybody been annoyed by your drinking, typically a loved one. Again, if the answer is yes, that's the second score. G is for have you ever felt guilty about your drinking, which is a very common thing. I think most people when they drink to excess would feel that guilt the next morning. So that would be plus three. And E is for eye-opener, meaning uh, after a night of drinking, do you f have you ha had it necessary where you need to have another drink? And that question I never really understood why people need to do that, but it made sense later on uh, when I learned that people, uh, when they're hungover, the best way to treat the hangover is to take another drink. Uh, medically, I would not recommend that, but uh, this is how it is a withdrawal syndrome, so having another drink is a way of attenuating those symptoms. So people who are long-term uh, uh, alcohol users uh, tend to rely on the eye opener. So if they uh, have had this before, then they get a four on the test. The, th the main thing of this test, though, is there's no real um, cutoff criteria. If the answer is yes to any of those questions, then that could be a, a strong indication there could be alcohol dependence. So that's the quick way, but the next way to do it is, is to seek advice from a, a, a drug treatment counselor or an addictionist or even your family doctor is fine as well. Um, they can ask more questions as to find out, uh, take a history of uh, how often the person's been drinking, what are the triggers that lead to drinking, uh, what are their complications of it, have they been missing school, have they been missing work, uh, have they lost interest in their regular activities that they once enjoyed in life, uh, are they less available uh, for the family, and are they distracted easily, irritable. All these questions really is a proper way for a physician to take a, a history to see if there's something going on. Uh, the most important part is if the person in question is being honest and uh, denial is definitely a big part of, uh, of um, addiction because of the shame. Uh, most people tend to hide their use um, and this is to be expected and understood as opposed to uh, criticized by family members that, that to accept that this is a normal thing um, that the person who is abusing uh, probably has more going on than just the drug use or alcohol use itself. So to summarize, to, di to diagnose if somebody has alcohol dependence or a really any substance of abuse is to ask the initial questions, the quick, the quick questionnaire, uh, the CAGE questionnaire. Other questionnaires can be found online, but the most important part really is to see if they're being honest, to take them to a healthcare provider or drug treatment counselor so they can take a proper and full adequate history to see what's been going on in their life. And it's most important for this person to be honest. So if you're with um, the, this person, that would be helpful uh, to be there with them during that appointment. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call.